Freeze framing is a well-loved editing technique where you freeze a moment in a video to provide added context or humor. And now you can add a freeze frame to your video in our completely online editor Kapwing in just two clicks. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to enhance your video by adding a freeze frame to highlight a moment in a video, annotate or explain something in a tutorial, or add entertainment value to memes and vlogs. Let's get into it. Head to the first link in the description of this video, click that and you'll come to kapwing.com, which is our online video editor. So the first step to adding this freeze frame effect is to get your video. So you can either upload a video that's already on your computer or you can paste a link to a video or you can even just search our library of stock video footage here that is copyright free and yours to use at your disposal. So I'm gonna find my video there. The clip is in the timeline which moves from left to right and the canvas preview to see what's going on in that moment in time in the video. So freeze framing a section of your video is very simple. It's only a few clicks. You basically move the seeker in the timeline by clicking and dragging this white bar to the section of the video that you want to freeze essentially. So I'm gonna drag it right here. And then there are two ways to actually create the freeze frame. One is to right click and click freeze frame here, or you can head to the timing tab in the right side up above. And then there should be a button that says freeze frame here. So I'm gonna click that. And you can see it immediately creates this little image here. So the whole point of the freeze frame is you have a very smooth transition where the clip is playing and then this section, the section you chose, the freeze frame is frozen and then it continues on. So it creates this cool effect where you have kind of this hang time in the middle where you can add text, images, other context to this part of the video. You can adjust this to be however long you want. You might want it to be only a few milliseconds long or you might want it to be a few seconds long and you're explaining something as the image is on screen. So to adjust the length of this freeze frame or any other clips in this timeline, you can grab the ends of the video, make sure the clip is selected, and then drag the ends of the clip down, which makes it shorter. Or if you wanna make it longer, you can push the other clips aside and then drag to the length you want it. You can also just rearrange the order of the clips. If you want this frozen image frame somewhere else in the video, you can just click and drag it to another part of the video. But I'm going to leave it here so it has that smooth transition effect where there's a frozen frame. Now from here, you have a full-fledged editor at your fingertips. You can add text, other images, elements, shapes, GIFs, anything you want to provide that context. So I'm gonna add a few little shapes and elements and text here. So here you can see I added a text layer. I added this shape here, this line to kind of indicate where I'm what I'm talking about. And you have all these options on the right side, of course, to change how these different layers look. I'm going to add some drop shadow to this text to make it stand out. And then in the timeline, make sure that the, these different layers that you might add to your freeze frame are the length you want. So the, this line and text element are not the same length as the image. So I'm going to click and drag to extend those layers to be the length of the image so that it'll come up on the screen when the image starts and then it'll leave when the image is continues to be a video. So this is what my video looks like now. We have the video moving and then the frozen frame where it talks about cars emitting carbon dioxide. And now this is on the screen for a few seconds. I could always trim this down, of course. And then it just continues on. So it's a pretty cool effect. Allows you to have more time to explain different parts of videos or just have that comedic timing for humor purposes. So there's lots of different ways you can use freeze frames and you can do this to any part of the video as many times as you want. Once you are happy with the video and you want to finish up, you can hit the green export video button in the top right corner here to immediately start processing that video and then download or share the video by the URL. Or you could even just save the image that you created by going to the drop down here and then saying export as image and choosing the frame you want to convert to an image. So this is the frame, the frozen frame that I took, but you could obviously take any other part of the video at this point. So then you just click the export button and then here we go. This is my end product. This is just the image, but I could go back and just export the whole video with the frozen frame in the middle. 
And yeah, to share any of these Kapwing projects with people, you can just copy the link and send it directly to them because our editor is in the browser. Go try freeze frame in Kapwing and let us know what you think of the feature. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all our Kapwing features and we'll see you in the next one.